Hi, everybody. It's another episode of Vix Picks. Um, <laughs> I was just talking with my friends at Bellevue Farm yesterday, and I've realized I have a tendency to wear their um, their paraphernalia, if you will, um, <clears throat> by accident every Sunday, mostly because uh, it's very comfortable. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's a fun little joke. Anyway, I have two products for us today. Um, They're both from new sponsor, Kelly. Uh, so thank you, Kelly. Thank you for being a fan. Thank you for supporting. Um, this is it. You've made it. You're famous. Um, <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Very excited and curious to try both of these products. Um, I'm starting to slowly dive into the world of Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and what they've got to offer because I've exhausted Market Basket. Um, and by me diving into it, I mean people like Kelly and the Martin family sponsors going there because I don't go there. Anyway, <clears throat> first up is the Trader Joe's dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups and <clears throat> it's gluten-free soy free dairy free how do you make chocolate without dairy tree nut free and peanut free okay very curious to see where this leads us I'm a, I'll be honest I'm a little suspicious I hear from those that don't eat peanut butter, that this is a good replacement, but obviously it's not peanut butter. Anyway, dark chocolate smells like dark chocolate so far. I've n I, I eat sunflower seeds with my salads sometimes, but I've never eaten it as a butter in this capacity. So here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> it's creamy and smooth like peanut butter. The dark chocolate's good. Yeah, if you can't eat peanut butter, this is a pretty good replacement. Would I ever buy these again? No, because there's no peanut butter in them. Um but they're good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really actually pretty shocked at, as to how good they are. It looks like a peanut butter cup. It feels like a peanut butter cup. It doesn't really taste like a peanut butter cup. It tastes like there's like a tenth of a second where you're like, oh, sunflower seeds. <clears throat> but you have, still have the saltiness in there. It's a good replacement. Um, so I would not buy again, but that's good because Kelly bought them for me and not me. Um, and a rating. 7-3. I mean, they're a good replacement, but they're not peanut butter, so, you know. <sighs> anyway, next up, we have this boat here. Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Creamy peanut butter covered in dark chocolate. Now, these are more like it. Anyway. You boy. Gotta figure out how to open this bad boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just a little phlegmy. I do not have COVID. It's this dry, dry, cold air that's really killing me. All right. Full tab. Uh huh. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Don't pull it all the way around. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Aha, uh -huh. okay. <clears throat> All individually in their little wrappers. Smells like dark chocolate. A little kick of peanut butter in the smell. Oh, wow. There's a lot of peanut butter in here. You see, the base is really thick. 
the sides are so thin they're barely even there. Impressive. Hmm. Hmm. Would I buy again? Sure. If I went to Trader Joe's. These are good. <clears throat> yeah, there's a little salt in there. The salt is what makes it mouth-watering. And that's what these are. Mouth-watering. Love dark chocolate. So, yeah, wood buy... <coughs> Oh my God. I swear I'm fine. Um, yeah, definitely would buy again. Um, rating, I don't know, like 8.7. They're good. They're really good. <sighs> anyway, that's about it. I'm going to go back to watching the Great British Baking Show. Um, I hope you're all treating yourselves kindly and with patience and understanding like that you would give to other people. And, um, peace. Yeah. Talk to y'all later. Bye.